So I wake up this morning, I go on my Facebook, and on my feed, someone had posted from one of the reptile pages I'm on that PetSmart messed up on their website and their humongous 36 by 18 by 18 Exoterras are on sale for $16.99. So I'm booking it right now to get there as quickly as I can to buy one. So let's hope I can get there in time. We got the tank. I'm so excited. Uh, I wish I could have got a few more. That would have been cool, but I'm so happy I got one. I will show it to you guys when I get back home. Uh, the Dollar Tree getting fake plants. That is like a reptile life hack for you. Get your fake plants at the Dollar Tree. It's a million times cheaper here than going to the pet store and spending 10 to $15 on one plant. It's ridiculous. Go to the Dollar Tree, trust me. I cannot believe I got this for $16.99. That is insane. So apparently, unfortunately, I'm sure somebody got fired today because I guess they were supposed to mark it down $50 so it would be $169.99, but they did a typo and put it to $16.99. So... I'm happy about it because I got an insane deal, but it's unfortunate because I'm sure, like I said, somebody probably lost their job, but I'm sure a lot of reptile owners are very happy today. So, got a couple plants. They didn't have big selection today of leafy kind of plants, so that was a bummer, but that's all right. I liked this one, so at least I got one, and I thought these were kind of cool. Remind me of Halloween, and that is the season, so... And then I got this um, tub. I'm gonna make a hide out of it. I'm gonna attempt to paint it and kind of make it look like wood. Wish me luck, I don't know how that's gonna go. But I'm moving Albie up into the 40 gallon breeder, so I need to add a whole lot more hide. So recently I got a rack to put all my lizards on and Iris and Cub both have the exoterras with the doors that open and close, and that's really nice. But um, Albie, he doesn't. He has a normal 20 long, and he's up at the top, and I'm kind of tired of using a stool to mess with him and feed him and clean his tank and whatnot. So I decided that since I bought that new exoterra, that I'm gonna just put Iris in it because he needs a taller one anyways. And instead of going and getting a 20 gallon one that like Cubs in, I'm just going to move Albie into Iris's old 40 gallon breeder, Exoterra. So hopefully he will like it. If he's too stressed about it or something, if it's too much space for him, I'm gonna put him back in the 20 long, but I'm gonna try and put a bunch of hides and whatnot in there to make him feel comfortable so I hope it goes to plan because I am so tired of getting up on a stool and to take care of him but that's why I think this is gonna be really good for it because it's a huge really really big it will be a very big hide and I think he's really gonna love that so I don't know we'll see how it goes hopefully I can make this look like a log because his theme is a jungly theme so that would be cool instead of just a gray tub. Well, I was gonna put that tank on this part of the rack, but to make my life easier so I don't have to adjust every single one of these, I'm going to just put it down at the bottom so I just have to adjust this one. Put it up higher because there's no way that this is a tall enough space for that tank and for the lights. So I'm going to do that and yeah. I'm going to take this background out. I take the background out on all these exoterras just because 
there's so much room, extra room when you take it out. It's like an inch thick of foam. So it's cool and all, but gives you more space. tall enough. Gosh dang it. So I didn't film getting that in but it was not tall enough on the bottom so I had to make this level a little bit shorter. Um, but finally got it in. Got that tank cleaned out and ready for Albie but I'm not gonna put him in today. I'm not dealing with taking off that heat mat because last time when I switched this fella into this tank it took me an hour to get the heat mat off of his other tank so I'm gonna wait but I'm going to put Iris in this one if you do decide to reuse the heat mat off of an old tank to put onto a new tank just be very careful take your time when you're taking it off it took me about an hour, like I said before, to take it off, the other one, so I'm not looking forward to taking this one off. When you put it on the new tank, just watch it closely, make sure it doesn't get too hot and whatnot, and if it does, I would definitely go buy a new one, because it's not worth risking a fire just because you don't want to purchase a new one, so just watch it closely. Alright, well time to get this tank set up, and Iris back in it, because he's... Lost in the mess back there. Hey, buddy. Waiting for this to get done, being so patient. This is just gonna be a super quick, simple setup. I've got big plans for this tank, so when I do eventually get it all set up how I want it, I will do a tank update. But as of right now, I just wanna get them in it, so it's not gonna be anything crazy. Set it up exactly how it was set up in his old tank just for now it's so tall it's so weird but anyways i finally after a very long time he's needed this got a 24 inch uvb bulb and these i heard a lot of great things about them they're actually from just from walmart just a black light it was only ten dollars so I'm gonna stick this into this and I hope it's as good as everybody says but there's a very cheap light fixture for you for your UVBs so I'm gonna mount the UV UVB fixture inside the tank and how I want to mount it I need to go get some nuts so I'm not gonna film that so I'm just gonna stick Iris into his tank now and we'll see how he likes it. He's quite cold right now so he's pretty dark but Let's see what he does. He's probably just gonna sit there. We know how these dragons are. Yeah. 